love you, love you unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video about my 12 favorite colorful uh, hot pots from Coastal Sense. I did a video about this uh, with my neutral favorites and I will leave that up here. So this is like the continuation of that series. So this is my 12 favorite colorful ones. And I'm so excited about this video because so many of you commented on the video with the neutral ones that you were looking forward to the colorful one and I am more about the colorful eye looks but I, I I don't go extreme I think that like my look is the wearable colorful looks that's more my thing and if you love the look that I'm having on right now you're not alone I'm dying over this look it's so beautiful and I have a tutorial for that and it's right up here if you want to take a peek and see how I did this look and also can we talk about this dress I mean you can see it but let's see this dress is so beautiful. It's from H&M. It is amazing. It is in stores right now. I just bought it and I love it. I cannot wait to wear it outside. Uh, right now I have um, Shira printed f sweatpants matched with it. That's not really the look I'm going for in the springtime, but it's gonna have to do right now. Also, these earrings are from eBay, and if you wanna uh, check those out as well, they're really inexpensive. I will leave the listing down below so you can see where I bought them. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into the shadows. I think I'm gonna start up here and just work my way down here. Like before, I picked 12 shades because Coastal Sense do have a palette with 12 empty wells like 12 empty pans where you can put those in yourself and they're magnetic that palette is amazing by the way if you are ordering from coastal sense make sure to order some of their uh, like magnetic palettes because they're so inexpensive they're not open like this but i mean they're they're just really inexpensive do get some of those i regret not having more of those and so that's why i'm showing 12 shades so if you wanted to pick like 12 colorful shadows and just fill one of those little small palettes up these are the ones I recommend and you'll know that you'll get 12 good ones because I've tried these and I, I really like these. Also the Costa Sense Hot Pots are only $2 each and they do have a sale like once or twice every year and then it's only $1 each, which is nothing. I have so many of these and I thought that I would do some videos now and then just updating you about the ones I'm using, the ones I'm loving so that you don't have to buy as many as I have and you can buy just the ones that are good because not all of them are good of course because it's gonna be hit and miss when there are so many I think they have like 350 and they're only two dollars each so let's start shall we let's start with this one which is called citron which is actually how we say lemon in Sweden this is called citron and we call lemon citron in Sweden so that's pretty cool and this is basically the color of lemon and it is a bright yellow shimmery gorgeous color and it is so opaque it is so beautiful if you're looking for a pop of color for spring this is amazing and imagine how cool this would be pairing with those oranges in the crease that's been really in for like more of a pop of color summer look that would be so amazing i love working with yellows they're really really flattering for a lot of skin tones so do try that i've been playing a bit with yellow lately and kind of digging it so this one citron is really good. Next color is color that I've been mentioning before on my channel because I think it's so good. This is Phoenix Sun and this is a bright orange metallic, well not metallic, well actually this is bordering metallic but it is a super dense shimmer. Look at how cool this shadow is. It's so gorgeous and the same here like creating a warm pop of color because if you're, if you're into warm neutrals and you still want to have a pop of color any of these two shadows will match those color amazingly and you will have a pop of color without stepping too far out of your comfort zone I just love this Phoenix Sun I haven't seen anything similar to this in any other collection like this bright orange metallic it's so cool because there's no copper in this it's just bright Love it. Next color is another color that I've been mentioning a lot on my channel. This is a straight up dupe for that bright orange one in the 35O. So if you feel like you want to get that shadow but don't want to buy the whole palette, just get this one. This is Marmalade by Coastal Sense and this is a beautiful matte that works great in the crease. I've been using this so much. And this is the bright orange and this really captivates, you know, the, the feeling of that 35O. So if you want to get an orange like that and don't want to get the whole palette, this one is really good. Next shadow is a shadow that you've been seeing a lot of on my channel if you are an OG subscriber and this is Vibrant Red. This is Vibrant Red. Let's see, I don't want to be like wet on my finger. This is a matte red and all red eyeshadows feel a bit gritty when you feel them and 
it doesn't like it doesn't make the performance bad. This is a really nice color. As you can see, it is a bit more muted in the swatch than it is here, but you can build this up. And this is gorgeous if you want to have, like, it look like this. This actually is a dark plummy brown with a red mixed. Uh, like I said, the tutorial is up here if you want to see it. And something like this could create the same kind of look. So this is amazing to mix in, like I said before, with any of these colors. If you're into the warm neutral zone and you want to step out and have some pop of color, any of this will bring that pop of color without stepping too far out of your comfort zone. So Vibrant Red, I really recommend this. Next color I want to talk about is Peach. And this is one of the more muted color options I'm going to talk about today. There are so many dupes out there for this kind of look color. Well, this is the dupe for that one, of course, because this is only $2, but like Emily from Melt is pretty much this color, that peach with a gold shift. This is gorgeous. I mean, if you're looking for that peachy gold shift duochrome, I mean, this hasn't that strong of a duochrome, but it's it's a really, really pretty color that's, that's peachy gold. You really should try and get this one because it will give you that lid color with peach and you can blend it up with some peaches or some browns in the crease. It is a really gorgeous color and for $2 and that pigmentation can't beat that. Next color is another color that I've been talking a lot about on my channel. When I'm doing those do your own palettes, make your own perfect palette, I will leave the playlist for that up here. And I do have a video that I'm going to film about that because I have one that I have in my head. So it's going to be another one real soon. I'm sorry it's been... It's been a while, but I've had some other things to film. But I mention these kinds of shades all the time, and this is Victorian Ruby by Coastal Sense. And if you're into that, the deep burgundy metallic look, just get this one instead of getting a whole palette just to get that kind of shadow. So Victorian Ruby is a beautiful warm-based burgundy red. It's bright, but it's not like in your face like this one, so this could be kind of muted with some browns in the crease. It is gorgeous. I do recommend this a lot. Victorian Ruby, you've been seeing a lot of this on my channel. Next color is probably the color out of these that I've been using the most and that I really recommend to you if you want to have something pop in but purple. This is the same as that red one, it's a bit gritty but the pigmentation, it doesn't lie. This is deep grape and it is absolutely spectacular for being a matte bright. It is so good. So deep grape, if you're ready for Coastal Sense and you like colorful shadows, so, so, so good. I highly, highly recommend this one. Next color is so cool. This is like a grass green super shimmery, super dense shimmer, and this is Sage Sensation. That is so hard to say. This is so beautiful for a green lid color. This would be amazing with greens in the crease. That would be amazing with yellows in the crease. Oh my god, something like this with chickadee. Whew, that would be amazing. Also with browns if you just want to keep it mellow. This would also be amazing on your lower lash line if you're doing a brown smoky eye. A color like this can be used so many ways, and this is so pigmented and amazing. I highly recommend this one. Next color is Ice Ballet. Ice Ballet, yeah. And it is like a super shimmery light lavender gorgeousness. And as you can see, it's had a bit of a close encounter with my nail. Oops, but this is a gorgeous color. If you're into pastels, don't miss out on this one. It is so beautiful and it's so soft and creamy and look at how soft this is. So soft and beautiful. It is amazing if you're into pastels, like me. So great. And this would be so cool as an inner corner highlight if you're doing a colorful look. Or if you have a darker complexion, I'm sure this would be amazing as an inner corner highlight. Oh, so cool. Here it is, my absolute, absolute favorite colorful eyeshadow by Coastal Sense. This is Periwinkle. I think I even mentioned this in my like 2016 favorite products of the year. This is beautiful. Pastels like this, they are not super opaque. And they're not supposed to be either. I mean, they're just 
beautiful. You can build them up or you can shear them up in the crease like a transition color before going in with really brights if you don't want to have that harsh line and if you're afraid that you're going to blend the colorful eyeshadow all the way up to your like hairline, something like this to start out with is amazing. I've been using this so much. This is so versatile and if you're into pastels or if you're into blues or if you're into colorful eyeshadows whatsoever, periwinkle. Just periwinkle. I've been getting so much use out of this one. I love it. Second to last is another blue one. I love blue, so I'm gonna recommend blues because I feel like nobody else is. Why is people so afraid of blue eyeshadow? It's amazing. This is Blue Moon and it is so soft and buttery and look at this. Oh my god. So beautiful. Like this one, they are the same consistency but this is a light lavender and this is a light blue. Like I said, if you're into pastels, you should really check out Coastal Sense because you can get just that pastel that you're into as a single and most of the time they're really nice. Some of them aren't and then you only spend two dollars. But the ones I'm recommending here, they are good. So this one, Blue Moon, I do recommend it. Last one is one of the most interesting duochrome shadows from Coastal Sense. This can be foiled so the duochrome shows even more and this is Lakeshore. It is a sea foam like goldy, like sea foam green gold duochrome. It's super cool and mysterious almost and you can get a super nice smoky eye with this on the lid with whatever color you want in the crease so Lakeshore is so cool and unique. I'm trying to look in the mirror and I hope you see the shift. I will try to film some close-ups, not today but show you some close-ups of how these shadows look and hopefully I can catch the duochrome but this Lakeshore is super unique and super beautiful. That was it. That was my favorite colorful eyeshadows from Coastal Sense. Do let me know if you have any colorful eyeshadows from Coastal Sense that you love and you think that I should try out. Maybe I own them, maybe I don't, maybe I need to. And yeah, I think that was it. Don't forget to check out some of the videos up here. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I do upload videos every week. And thank you for being here. You know, I love you so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!